Good morning, everybody. It is super early in the morning. I woke up just to make a video on the iCamper. I was gonna give a walk around. We were gonna check it out together. But unfortunately, the wind is really bad and it's raining. I even checked the weather last night. It wasn't supposed to rain until about two. It looks like the rain has actually stopped a little bit, but if it's super windy, obviously the audio quality will be terrible. And if it's raining, I don't really want to put away a wet tent because then I'll have to air it out. If we were going camping or something, I wouldn't care. It is what it is. It's gonna get wet, but if I was just doing a, a video, then I don't know. I start work tomorrow, so I don't wanna worry about finding a time to open up the tent to have it air out. It's still dark out. Obviously, you can't even see me, but we just got in and started driving because I wanna think of something to film because that's why I got up. I was really excited, but it is what it is. We're gonna find something to do. Even if I don't even end up making a video out of this, we're gonna try. Dang it, we're gonna try. As I started driving down the street, I noticed that we're almost out of gas. To the gas station. And then we'll see if we can find something to film. So I just got to the gas station and forgot my backpack has my wallet in it looks like we're going back home dang it on the positive side it looks like the rain has completely stopped maybe we can salvage this video just maybe At least it's uh, light enough to see outside now. I see it. I see the backpack. What are you guys doing? Koei getting used to the Jeep? When we go off-roading, Koa has thrown up both times, so if we end up hitting some dirt today, we'll see how he does. Geico! Geico! Kai! Geico's in a freaking trance. What are you doing there, bud? Alright. Got it. Try this again, Smiths. Yes. See, usually I don't let my gas get that low, but check this out. One dollar per gallon. Yes, please. Sweet, full tank of gas, 20 bucks. I like it. All right, let's go, boys. Are you eating the seat? Guilty. That's a guilty face. Okay, boys, let's try to make something out of this morning.
can kind of see those radio towers up on that hill. That is where we're heading. So yesterday on my motorcycle, I came over here and went up that road. But I do not know how to get over there. I had to drive up this curb. But I don't think that's that great to do. Oh. Well, okay. Well, it is what it is. Like I was saying, I brought my motorcycle up here and there's kind of a little flat spot up top. So if things go right, I'm thinking I can open up the tent up there and get a cool view of the city. I'm happy I didn't just give up because the freaking rain stopped, woo! raining there's a slight breeze it's not all the way level this ground isn't completely level but I think it's gonna work come on pups come on can you make it can you make it oh boys All right, let's do this thing. See if we can give you guys a look at the eye camper we got. First, I need to put some gloves on. All right, let's get into this, guys. So, this key right here. Oh, let's get it to focus. Is the key to the eye camper. I'll just show you guys up close the locking system on this thing. So you put the key in, turn it up, and then unlatch it, and then you gotta lock it again to get the key out. This is so, you have to lock it and it doesn't come open on the freeway or something, so it you go down or you unlock it, and it's not gonna let you take the key out because they wanna make sure that you know put it back to the lock position and then take the key out and then all you're gonna do is under here you're gonna unlatch like that I don't know if you're able to see that let's do it on the other side come here and just un unlatch that that loop just goes around there and let me put the keys in here. So I'm gonna open it up and then I'll put it on, put the camera on the tripod because there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this with one hand, unfortunately. So I'll just demonstrate how easy it is. Okay, so it's a hard with one hand, but once you get your hand under there, you can get 
you can let it do the work. So it just pops up like so. So right now I'm gonna attach the camera to the tripod and show you guys the rest of the setup. And then once I get it set up, I'll kind of show you some of the features. So I wanted to take the camera off the tripod so I could show you guys what it looks like when you first open it. Plus I had to put a rock under here because that wasn't even. They want this, the ladder at 70 degrees, 70 degree angle, so. Look, looks good to me. All right, so when you first open it, this is what it's gonna look like. You got your mattress up top, which you'll slide down to this portion. And then underneath the mattress, I got the poles to keep the rain fly open. I rolled these up so it wouldn't be in the way. I think you can do them both at the same time, but I did it um, separate. So I mean, if you wanted to put the screen down and not the opening, you could do that without having to unroll it. So that's why I did that. Well, this is what it looks like on the inside when you first open it up. I've got everything closed up, the sides besides the uh, little plastic cover. I have those open so the air will go out. And let me get the rain fly set up and the mattress set up. And then I will step inside. It's pretty sweet, huh? So to set up the rain fly, you just put the, the pole right in there and then it goes and goes right up into that. Just do that on both sides. So I opened up the windows so I could attach the poles to the windows. I've never done that before, so that's pretty simple. I figured it out. Just see how we're gonna get the back ones. I just wanted to show you guys what, how it goes up. So let me, let me show you on the other side. So basically, you put the window rods right inside those little brackets, and then it comes up. And I have no idea if that's on correctly, but 
that's just how it worked out so so it props those open so if it's raining keeps the rain out and then you can have the screen up and if it's really raining and you don't want any rain inside you can put the little plastic window you can close the plastic window so I'm gonna go put the other one up for me it wasn't terribly hard to get these put up I don't I don't know if there's a way you can do it from inside there might be if you go up in the tent and do it from inside it might be easier but if you were a little bit older I don't know it wouldn't be the safest to be getting up on your bumper like that so um, maybe next time I'll try to do it from the inside but same concept just put it right in there and then it just extends it out like that this is the first time I've ever had the eye camper all the way set up let's take a walk around So real quick, I wanted to show you guys what I used to get the B-roll shots on this, um, in this video. So I used the Osmo Mobile. I think this is the older version, but this thing connects right to your cell phone. Keeps everything nice and smooth. It's basically just a fancy cell phone gimbal. I actually got this for free. My credit card had a points program and I wasn't using it for anything and there was something on there that I found useful. So yeah, I'm just using what I got. I've honestly never really used this thing before because I don't want to vlog with it because it's really obnoxious, but for getting B-roll shots, let's see how it works. I, mean, I don't know, just let me know what it looks like. If it looks cool or not, it might look a little choppy, who knows, but I hope it just looks awesome. All right, let's go check out the inside. I'm gonna leave my shoes down here so I can climb on in. Okay, Ooh. so this is what it looks like on the inside. You've got the world map. I'm gonna take off my jewelry, you know? I got these things clanging around. The joys of being a dog owner. Training collars, they're invaluable. So these things are little bracket things that go on the struts right here. So if you're in a really windy situation, you clip those on and it'll keep this from, this hard shell from moving at all. The uh, the mattress in here is pretty thick. For tent camping, it is really nice. And these guys are having too much fun. Like, if you were in a normal tent, you wouldn't get any mattress, so that's pretty good. We have yet to sleep in it, so I can't really say if it's comfortable or not. If not, we're probably gonna put a little memory foam topper down. Supposedly, you can put blankets and pillows in here and still close it. From what I've experienced closing it, it's not hard, but it, it's pretty tight. So that's gonna be a different experience when we try to actually put pillows and blankets in here. I would love to keep them up here. It would just make it so convenient. So with the windows, 
And maybe you, let's use this window so there's not so much light. The windows, it has a screen and then it has a plastic layer. So that'll keep any water out, keep the warmth in. So you can, or you can just have it open. So when Liam's in here, we're for sure gonna have the screen shut. Let me shut the screen, show you guys. The zippers on this thing are super smooth, very high quality. So when Liam's in here, we'll for sure have the screen up. Hopefully he doesn't break it, but maybe we'll even have to have the plastic up. This is your view looking out of the eye camper. So you can park this thing wherever and get beautiful scenery. You can also remove the rain fly if you'd like. I haven't done that yet. Figure just keep it on. Um, just in case, one less step. But if you're in a really hot area and you know it's not gonna rain, you, I mean, you can take it off. So if you look up, there's a skylight. That's pretty cool. So this strap is, when you're closing the tent, it's used to pull the hard shell closed. So you can move that out of the way if you're stargazing or whatever, but that's the view. You can open the screen. Oh, and it has the little plastic part there. I don't think you can open the plastic. Yeah, that would be a dumb idea because I mean, keep the rain and everything out. Just a little place you can look at the stars. That's gonna be awesome. All right, so let me get this stuff closed up and we'll go into some of the pockets and stuff it has. So I went ahead and closed the windows up so you can kind of see how it looks when it's all cleaned up. And I'm just gonna show you guys the storage options in here. And be on my way, I gotta get home. You got two pockets here. You can put cell phones, lights, whatever in these pockets. Over on the other side, you got another two pockets. There's these little loops up here. You could hang a light. Um, looks like there's another one in two in the middle and another one over there. There's some hooks right here towards the front. I imagine you can hang something up there. They also make some storage bags you can hang off either side here. One for shoes, one for gear but you have to buy them separate and they're pretty expensive. They're like 70 or 80 bucks. And on top of what this tank costs, oh, that's a lot of money. There was also this inside, seam sealer. Uh, the directions are, I was, I don't even know, Korean. This tent's made in Korea, so I don't, I don't know. I don't even want, I don't know what language that is. I'm guessing Korean, if I'm completely wrong. Don't judge me. I'll have to look up on YouTube how to use that. All right guys, that's all I got for you this time. I hope you enjoyed the walk around of the eye camper. We're super excited to go out and use it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a fun experience filming it and documenting our adventures. I thought today was gonna be a bust. Honestly, I woke up, I stared at my Jeep for like 20 minutes while the dogs ran around to use the bathroom and I was thinking, I'm not even gonna go because it was raining hard this morning. Uh, it was all dark and rainy. But then I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna get in the Jeep and I'm just gonna drive just to see what happens. Went to the gas station, forgot my wallet, had to go back home, went back to the gas station and just came up here, forgot a piece to the uh, tripod. So I had to just wrap my other tripod around it to make it work. But just goes to show if you try, I mean, things work out most of the time. And if not, you can wing it. You can make something work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, anything helps. This is a new channel. I have like only family and friends on here right now, but hopefully it can grow and people that 
don't know me will start watching and ask me questions, give me ideas, and I can make videos about different topics. And hopefully you guys are liking what I'm putting out. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. So it looks like you can take, oh, can't really see, but you can take these down from the inside. So maybe you can hook them up from the, from the inside. The hard part would just be finding that little bracket under there. But next time I'm gonna try to do it from the inside because it seems a little bit more easy. So I learned something new today. When you're putting that second mattress in, there's like that small mattress that covers where the where it folds down. You gotta put it all the way to the back. So I don't know how I'm gonna edit this, but I got it all folded down and then the top wouldn't close. Like it was really tough to close. So I opened it back up, slid that mattress all the way to the back and it closed super well. So. Just a little tip there for you so you don't have to go through what I went through. All right, so I got it all closed down. Go fold it underneath. And then when I get the key, then I'll close that one. So put the key in, unlock, put it up, and then lock. Up, lock, there we go. Oh, by the way, so this is what it looks like when you forget a piece to your tripod. It's a good thing the Joby tripod is flexible or else I would have been uh, <laughs> not been able to make this video. So when you forget stuff, that's when you gotta get creative. And that's what I had to figure out in able to get the tripod shot. Also, I learned from last time, definitely have some weight on this thing or else it'll get blown over by the wind. Hi Liam! I like your shirt! <laughs> 